As you can see currently on my Linux machine, if I run free minus H, I have like 400 megabytes of available memory and also have 500 megabytes of swap memory. Let's just go ahead and fill up all the memory and let's see what happens, how Linux reacts to that. So I'm gonna make a little program, let's call it mem.c. And I'm gonna start a main function here. And I'm just gonna call malloc. Let's say I'm gonna allocate like 10 kilobytes each time. That's gonna be 1024 times 10. And I'm gonna do this on a infinite for loop. Now let's just check out the man page for malloc. And we can see we need to include stdlib for this. So I'm gonna add the include right over here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. And let's build this with GCC. So I'm gonna run GCC on mem.c. And the output, let's say it's gonna be memory filler. And now I'm gonna run memory filler in the background. So I'm gonna add an ampersand here in the end. And we're just gonna take a look at free. So let's run free for example right now. We can see that available memory is starting to decrease. Let's run it again. You can see everything is starting to get pretty slow. That's because it's starting to use the swap memory right now. So you can see now the swap memory is starting to get lower in the usage. As you can see right now, we get a message from the Linux kernel that says we're out of memory and that it killed the process of memory filler. Now I've opened the source code of the Linux kernel, specifically on the line that prints this message that we just saw. And we can see that this is related to the OOM victim. What is OOM? OOM stands for out of memory. So basically what happens here is that once the memory is getting short on your Linux machine, the kernel kicks in and, and tries to find a process that is gonna be the victim to be killed. And the calculation goes something like this. So I have here open a page from the kernel documentation. And we have here the formula that the kernel uses for selecting the process to kill. Basically, it's trying to choose a process that is using a large amount of memory but it's not long lived. So you can see here that it's checking the CPU time in seconds and the total VM for the task. VM stands for virtual memory. So that's the way that it's calculating this and it's gonna land on a process that is consuming a lot of resources and not running a lot of time. And that's the reason it's selected our process, the memory filler to kill. Now this is a very important mechanism to know because I personally felt this when I ran a server on my Linux machine and suddenly the server just stopped and I didn't realize why this happened and then I realized that the server was consuming a large amount of memory. Sub for more and thanks for watching.